Everyone has their days when they feel all sluggish and tired, unmotivated to do anything except laze around in their house. Being results-driven, on the other hand, is the exact opposite of this feeling. With your work being organized and your feeling motivated as you work towards progressive achievement of your goals. Having your focus devoted to achieving results is extremely important, especially when you're constantly working and your success depends on the very results that you need to deliver. Many companies around the world value workers who are results driven simply because they are able to deliver tangible benefits to the company they are working for. Companies are, in fact, driven by results as a whole entity because they rely on their revenue in order to keep operating and stay in business. As such, it is not uncommon to see targets being set for employees to achieve a 4% growth in sales for the first quarter or cutting down of expenses by 20% in the coming year. Now, compare this to your local store, which you worked in over the summer, where it was a way to pass time and earn some cash. Not only was your work not result-driven, but the only reason that motivated you was money. This could lead to a loss of quality in your work, and it doesn't really aid in boosting the vision which the store probably has for its employees. Even though these examples may seem to paint a larger picture than yourself, being results-driven in life doesn't mean you have to manage people and things. It is rather a trait that one employs in order to develop their ability in situations where a requirement is needed to be fulfilled. The requirement in this case is the need for a result to be accomplished, which explains why so many companies attempt to adopt a result-driven management in their workplace. In our everyday life, there are certain aspects to being results-driven that we may have incorporated without noticing. The most blatant one is studying for our examinations back in school, where students would aim towards a specific score to hit before taking the exams. One of the most efficient methods of studying also revolved around choosing specific areas to study that are more likely to appear in the examinations, just to secure a higher score. The art of studying smart instead of studying hard has been around for a long time and is a fine example of being driven by results. Work and studies aren't very different things and you could always apply the same principles to your goals in life. Let us take a look at some of the main characteristics of a result-driven person and one that is not. Characteristic number one. Results-driven people are focused on improving the current situation and achieving their immediate goals, whereas people that are not results-driven tend to jump from problem to problem, attempting to fix everything at the same time. This can be seen in many early startup companies as the stakeholder's lack of experience and planning gets in their way at the early stages of their business. Compare this to a well-established company headed by an experienced leader with strong sectors that have set goals for their department to achieve by the end of the week, driving sales, marketing, and innovation simultaneously with a clear objective. Characteristic number two. People that are results-driven are usually motivated in their work, putting in the very best they can in order to accomplish their goals. This results in the work being completed in a timely and efficient manner as opposed to one who is not driven by results. One who doesn't focus on producing results may not be as motivated in their work, and this often results in a longer time taken to achieve their objective. For example, when you're headed to work and have the objective of completing five reports by the end of the day, you'll be more motivated to complete your job as opposed to another worker who has the mindset of finishing as much work as he can. Characteristic number three, a result-driven person is often realistic in their expectations and thus is able to establish proper steps in order to acquire their goal. Someone not result-driven, on the other hand, may not have a clear objective established or could have a less realistic goal resulting in them working at a suboptimal pace that is not productive at all. Something as simple as progressively logging your daily runs and timing yourself each day 
in order to beat your own timing the next time around is more effective than running daily without tracking your progress. Oftentimes in life, when we get used to our surroundings, we start getting complacent and fail to aim for really tangible results. This is perfectly normal but not optimal if we really want to outdo ourselves and push for the best. Here are some tips on how to be results driven in our everyday life. One, think of an end result before getting started. For many of us, the main reason why we aren't oriented towards delivering results is because we can't see a tangible endpoint. It helps if there is a deadline together with the endpoint, although it is not generally required. Once we have a goal that we can safely see come to a realization, the drive to work towards it becomes stronger. It is only from here that we can plan a more concrete outline on how we're going to tackle the problems ahead of us in order to achieve our end results. Stick to your schedule and cultivate a habit of working towards producing results. For instance, when working on the project of making videos, the very first goal that I aimed for was writing my scripts and gathering a production team. With this in mind, I could work towards getting these results out in the fastest possible way instead of jumping from problem to problem as I encountered them. Two, make sure your results are measurable and review them periodically. Make it a habit to review your plans periodically every two weeks or so. By doing this, it allows one to spot distractions and other unnecessary actions early on instead of wasting time doing work that may not add to the end results that we want. Your results should also be as specific as possible at any point in time. Don't come out with a vague goal like increase sales for upcoming launch. Be more specific like sales to increase by 20% with actionable steps to account for the increase of 20% of your sales. Three, leave no space for excuses. Finally, don't give yourself an excuse when carrying out your plan to acquire your results. Now, this may seem like an oversimplification, but the fact remains that humans tend to follow the path of least resistance. If you can complete your work in one hour, do it instead of procrastinating. If reaching an increase in 20% of your sales means you have to go out of your comfort zone and talk to people in order to build your connections, do it. Don't give excuses that will limit your ability to perform. Simply do what you have to do to get the results delivered. Conclusion As the saying goes, when you know what you want and you want it badly enough, you'll find a way to get it. Being driven by results serves as both a motivation and a mindset that will carry you to greater places in this world. Find a result that you wish to achieve and strive for it with all you've got. And I promise you that you'll achieve the results that you deserve.